Hey guys, my name is Dominic Gresco with Forest River. I'm here today at General RV with the all new industry first 42 Grand Lodge. Follow me and we'll take a look. Here we are, the all new industry first 42 view. A couple things I wanna point out as far as industry first, it's a double drop frame. This frame had to be custom built. We also had to build a custom awning. The 42 view comes standard with a high gloss gel coat. The biggest part about this 42 view and something I love the most is it has 248 square feet of windows. If you guys look at this thing, the whole front is pretty much windows. And I'll show you when we get inside in just a little bit. They also have motorized roller shades in there. So no need to climb up on a ladder or a step stool and try to put the shades down. Uh, when the sun's coming in. Something that Wildwood does a little bit different is we put six by eight panels all the way down the coach. So if you ever needed to get underneath the coach and work on anything, or you wanted to run a new outlet or a cable outlet somewhere, all these panels are made to, to be removed very easily. So you can get up there and work, put the panel back, be protected and good to go. Very simple to use. Something else I wanna talk about real quick is uh, our roof material. A lot of people ask about the roof. Uh, we use a material called Superflex. It's 60% vinyl, 40% rubber. It has a 15 year cold crack warranty on it. It's a big feature for people. I mean, you know, this thing is 13 feet, three inches high to the top of the AC and there's not a lot of people that wanna get up there um, and actually UV treat the roof, okay? So the roof material is super maintenance free. It only needs to be washed a couple times a year. You don't have to UV treat it. Um, the manufacturer, the Superflex says that. If you'd like to, I don't think it's gonna hurt, but at the end of the day, that's awful long way up there. We're back here on the other side of the coach, the off door side. I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, we do put an access, a quick access for your 20 gallon hot water heater. If you ever needed to change the element, turn the water off, uh, it's very serviceable and it's right there as you can see. All right guys, enough about the outside. Now for the best part, let's go in and check it out. Here we are inside this new 42 view. The first thing you'll see when you walk in is this grand island. It's eight feet long. It features a waterfall edge. Something else that you're really gonna like too is a full pantry. This pantry here has that automatic light that flips on. You can fit plenty of food, dry food in there. And you also have a full size microwave here, residential style, upgraded appliances and a larger oven. All right. We also offer the full size refrigerator with ice maker, which is really nice when you're camping. You can't ever have enough ice. Something really cool that I wanted to show you guys is how the shades work. We've got the full automated shades and you'll notice here um, by flipping these switches, I can push them down. All the shades come down and up. Something that is also pretty cool is if you turn around, we can raise the TV up, call it a high deck TV. That's a 50 inch flat screen TV. This unit actually has two fireplaces in it. So you've got the fireplace right behind you at the entertainment center and you also have a fireplace in the back bedroom and we'll go and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. One more thing that I wanted to show you, the Furion soundbar. You've got great sound when you're sitting here watching uh, movies on your pop-up TV. The nice thing about this Furion soundbar is it is dual zone. So you can play music outside. You can play music in here. You can do two at a time. You can switch them. I know when we're hanging out on my deck, I like to have a little music playing, a little background music, maybe serving some drinks and some appetizers. So uh, a really nice feature there. One thing I didn't mention yet is the, uh, the, the question we hear all the time, how many does this sleep? So we're going to explore the lofts here in a minute, but in terms of how many it sleeps, if you get four in that loft, you can get six up here, two down here and two on the uh, sofa. You've got 14 people. With all 14 people, they're going to be hungry. Everybody's going to be in and out. Most of the time, probably hanging out under the awning enjoying the view. When it comes time to serve dinners, drinks, or anything like that, all you have to do is open this window. We've got a table specifically made. You can pass drinks, uh, appetizers, any snacks through. A couple of cup holders in here. Makes it really convenient anytime you've got anything going on out front of the camper. All right guys, something you'll notice when you walk in the coach, this beautiful spiral staircase. I don't know of any other unit out there or any other park trailer out there that has an actual spiral staircase in it. Uh, this took some design work uh, by our vendors and it came out, looks really, really nice. Because while we're standing here, you also notice the LED lights under the cabinets. There's an LED light strip 
above the slide out over there for a nice ambient light at night. I love the new Edison lights that we went to. I actually, I wish I had those in my house. And something that I think kind of brings the coach all together is this wood beam that we've put across. Um, it just really gives it that homey feeling. I mean, you'll see that a lot in residential and in people's houses. So I just really like that feature. I think it ties it all together. So while we're on the topic of speaking about lights, so these lights guys are fully dimmable. They're all LED lights and they do dim. You just tap your finger on it. You can hold it um, and you'll see how they, they dim. Very nice feature when you have a coach of this size, um, especially at night. You know, you can tin the lights down, kick the fireplace on and watch a movie. People really love it. I just wanted to quick show you this new L-shaped sofa. This is a hide -a bed so if you lift up the cushions, you can pop out the hide -a bed And one little thing that we included too that I really like here is if you take a look at this, we didn't waste any spot for storage. There's a little built-in storage there for blankets, pillows, anything you might need. And what everybody else seems to love too is this little storage area here. This is perfect for like an outside card table. Um, you can just unpack some folding chairs or a card table and bring it right outside. Also, the ottoman, extra storage there as well. And this is free floating, so you can move it around any way you'd like. One more thing, if you'll notice right under here is central vac. It comes with an eight foot hose that'll stretch the entire length of the camper. It's kind of an accordion style, uh, which is really nice. We've got no carpet in this whole unit. Everybody seems to love that when you're camping and all the dirt and, and grime is, is coming in and out of the camper. Uh, it's gonna be easy to clean up. It makes it really easy and nice to have a central vac. Um, second, I wanted to touch on the AC as well. This has two uh, air conditioners and these air conditioners are actually tied together in what's called a racetrack system, right? So you've got two 15,000 BTU ACs and that system allows both air conditioners to circulate air in the roof and work together. So it's almost like having a 30,000 BTU air conditioner in one. So real quick guys, I'm going to run up, uh, point a few things out on the loft. The first thing you'll notice is up here, you actually have 36 inches of headroom. I've had adults climb up there, everybody can sit and uh, be comfortable up there. You also have your own AC vents. If you'll notice back there, you've got two USB ports on both sides and a plug. And you've also got two large windows with roller shades, blackout shades. Once those are shut, it'll totally black out the light and it also helps to reflect the heat. I don't think I mentioned it before, but you do have dark tinted windows here um, and that'll also help keep out some heat. Here we are, the large master bathroom. But one thing I like to point out is you still have the solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Also the solid surface ledge, very residential and high end. One thing um, I did want to point out too, which is a really nice feature, is we do have a motion sensor light in here. So anytime you're walking from the master or somebody sleeping in the other loft, um, and night has to come down to use the bathroom, that light will automatically kick on. Nobody will trip over the steps. Just a nice safety feature. You're probably wondering if you haven't noticed it already is uh, this right here. Obviously, we've got the loft above us, so we need a bathroom vent. We've got to get some of that steam out of here. So you've got a max air in wall vent. So all you do is you turn that, it kicks it on, and it'll, uh, it'll exhaust all that moisture. And to be quite honest, guys, this shower is actually uh, larger than the shower I have at home. You can see you've got two body sprayers here, the rain sprayer, and there was also a seat uh, in there if you need it. So really nice feature. You've got the large triple slide glass door. And uh, last but not least in this bathroom is you do have washer dryer. Now the washer dryer installed as an option. It comes prepped already, but if you do want the washer dryer, we can do that. Uh, just go to generalrv.com and get with those guys and they will uh, help you out there. Now I'm going to go up and talk to you about the second loft. This one's actually a little bit larger than the first loft we looked at. This has three bunk mats in it. So you can sleep, let's say we're sleeping kids, you've got six up here. You've also got some storage up there. They've got six places to put their clothes, any video games, and of course you've got the cable outlet. You've got light switches up there for them. It's, it's really like a full upstairs. I've got two kids myself. If my kids were in here, I don't think they'd come down all day. They'd be up there playing their games, hanging out, you know, watching iPads and, and doing what kids do. So it's, it's really nice. Everybody seems to love it and you won't even believe how many adults I get to climb up in there. Moving down into the bedroom. One of my favorite things, and I wish I had this in my house, is these large windows. I mean, you've got four large windows 
um, in this bedroom with a king size bed. I mean, you can't beat it guys. With the king size bed, you also get the extra fireplace over here, as you'll see, which is really nice. Those fireplaces can be ambient or they can be turned on to kick out a little bit of heat, like a space heater. And actually they put out a lot more heat than you think. They're about 5,100 BTUs. Um, so really the one in the living room can almost heat this thing pretty well on a chilly morning. Again here guys, we've got your uh, built-in dresser. You do have solid surface here as well just like we do in the bathroom countertops. But again, with this great big king size bed, um, not missing any storage. You've got some pass through storage here. That also accesses uh, to the outside and that's where the table that you saw in the window, there's a spot for it to strap in right there. So if, you're, if you ever have to move it or you're traveling, nice spot to put that here. Uh, you've got a shoe nook under here. Um, so just a nice feature, a way to utilize every little nook and cranny because we all know storage is probably the biggest thing in an RV. One last thing, of course, we have your cable satellite hookups here in case um, dad wants to come in and watch the game. He's got his own TV here. I don't think I mentioned it, but we do have a, a cable hookup and an outlet outside as well. So if you wanted to uh, put a TV out there while you're hanging out on the deck, making drinks, passing everything through on that built-in table, um, we also have that as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more information on the all new 42 Grand Lodge, go to generalrv.com.